there is a shipment of 500 dolls and they want to do the quality control and they take a sample of 75 so let's visualize the situation first we have a population and the population size is known to us we know 500 is the size of the population and then the sample size is you're taking a sample of 75, 75. and uh, in this sample of 75 five are defective oh, this is actually a good question which is a little bit different than the other one it says five are defective so it doesn't tell us the proportion 6.66 percent yeah uh, so we have to calculate it ourselves basically uh, but when we know like let us read the question and see what is other you know evidence that we have to calculate the proportion it says that um, construct a 90 percent confidence interval for population proportion we can calculate the proportion in the sample and the goal is to estimate the proportion in the population Okay, so the proportion in the sample is 5 out of 75 and our best estimate, so maybe I write best estimate for P is, uh, what is 5 divided by 75? Point? Zero, six, 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 six. 7, right? So if this is the best estimate, are you sure that a proportion of the population is this? No, we are not sure. Because every time that we take a sample, the sample proportion varies. However, we know how sample proportions vary. We know that sample proportions vary with a normal distribution. And the mean of their variation is the proportion of the population and we know that the standard deviation of variations of sample proportion is proportion the population multiplied by one minus proportion to, of the population divided by n this is this is what we know from the central limit theorem um, now what is our best estimate for the proportion of the population if we have a sample and that sample gave us 0 0.0667. And now we can find our best estimate for the proportions of, uh, uh, for standard deviation of sample proportion. And that would be 0 0.0667 multiplied by 1 minus, this is 1. 0 0.0667 divided by 75, which is the size of the sample. So how much is that? So what is 1 minus 0 0.0667? 0 0.9333. 0 .9 and then we have to divide it by 75. Now, if you have the final answer, you can tell me. It's 0 0.0288. Yeah. That's better. Okay. So, this is how much we expect the sample proportions vary. Is that right? No. Very good. Because we know this size of the population so size of the population is finite and because the size of the population is finite we have to apply a proper correction factor so we know that the size of the um, size of the population is n the finite population correction factor 
is 500 minus 75 divided by 500 minus 1. Help. It's 0 0.92287. 0.922. Eight seven point point nine two two nine. Two nine. Okay. So this is the correction factor. So the standard deviation of the variation of sample proportion that we will use will get a correction. Will be a little less than what we usually use. So we multiply it by zero point nine two. To nine, and it will be zero point zero two six six. We want to be ninety percent confident, and this is a normal distribution. So we are interested in all of the p bars that could happen with a chance of. 90%. So we want this area to be 90%. And in normal distribution in the table, it only gives us half of the area. So this area, the, this half, will be 0.45. Now please go to normal distribution table and tell me how many standard deviations I have to go above and below the mean to be 90% confident. 1.65. No. We don't have 0.45 in the table. Okay, we don't have 0.45 in the table. Can you please tell me what are the things that we have in the table? Uh, 0 0.4495 and 0 0.4505. Yeah, this is what we have in the table. And what we want is right in the middle. There is none of them that is closer. So we find out what is the Z for this number, which I think it will be 1.64. And the Z for this one would be 1. 6, 5. So if we want to find the area that is 0.45, it is 1.645. The average of these two would be the average of these two. So we go 1.645 standard deviations above the mean. Like of course, we decided, like as a protocol between us, that if it was closer to one of the two numbers, we would use that one. But this is exactly in the middle. So 1.645. 645 and now we can write the upper bound and the lower bound of confidence interval so I write it here the upper bound of confidence interval is from 0 0.0667 plus 1.645 standard deviations, which is 0 0.0266. And the lower bound of confidence interval is 0 0.0667 minus 1.645. multiplied by 1.645 standard deviations. Okay, and uh, yeah, tell me for completeness, what is the upper bound? 0 0.1105. For and the lower bound? I got 0 0.0229. For the lower bound? At the end, you will say our 90% confidence interval for population proportion is from 0 0.0229 to 
to 0 0.1105. 